let's let's begin again. Thank you, Vinay, for joining on the video in Santo. Meditative posture. Three deep breaths. Continuing to be here and now. <clears throat> Actually, our body is always here and now. Our breath is always here and now. Our mind can be here and now. And let's practice that. No need to analyze, compare, resist, hold on. Just be with the body and the breath. Body sensations. Experience of breathing. Not doing anything, just living. Just living body, mind and breath. If there is freedom, it can only be here. Completely open attitude. Gives us freedom from the usual. Difficulties that we have in life. We want something we don't want something. Those wants and 
dislikes are never giving any permanent satisfaction. We can be free of those. Palms to the heart center. Namaskaram. May this practice be for the benefit of all. Chin to the chest. Open your eyes. Inhaling, take the arms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down, looking down. Inhaling up. Inhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One last round. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Standing tall like a mountain. Place your palms behind your glutes, fingers pointing down. Open your chest, elbows pointing toward the back wall. A gentle back bend, look up. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Bring the hands by the sides, hands on your waist. Inhale, exhaling, halfway bending forward. You can bend the knees. Look to the front. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Right arm up toward the ceiling. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending toward the left wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Right hand on the right face. Left arm up. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending toward the left wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Left arm and the left face. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up. Interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Bend your elbows and place the hands on the top of your head. Inhale, exhaling, twisting to the right. Five, four, three, two. One, inhaling, straighten up. 
exhaling, twisting to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, straighten up. Release your arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Samasthiti, Namaskar Mudra from Tadasana. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara begin. Keeping the mind, the breath, in the body, in the practice. Practicing Surya Namaskara, body, mind and spirit. Attitude open. You receive whatever the experience. If the mind disconnects from the breath and the body, begin again. Being with every posture, every transition, every breath. After completing three rounds, separate your feet comfortably. Stand relaxed, shoulders relaxed, soft gaze forward and down. Continuing with the open attitude. Receiving whatever the experience flows.
completely relaxed about whatever the experience. You can even smile and say hello to whatever the experience that flows through. Pleasant or unpleasant. If there is a discomfort anywhere, you can say hello, discomfort. And if you're really feeling good, and say hello, good feeling. I'm saying hello to my right back calling attention. There is some strain. So I'm saying hello to that. Three D breaths. One of the classic postures, Satya Yoga postures, is called Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Let's prepare to approach Sarvangasana with some help of a wall or a chair. We'll do some modifications. Um, and let's prepare for Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. It's also called the mother of all asanas. Naturally, you'll ask what the father of all asanas. Sirasasana is uh, the father of all asanas if you have a mother of all asanas. Obviously, the, the, the mother and father here are about balancing the entire body against the gravity under which our entire system is always operating. To, going, to go opposite against gravity can, is a big balancing posture. Benefits, enormous benefits. Practice diligently without aggression. The things to avoid is if you're not quite ready, Follow the modifications that I would be suggesting rather than pushing yourself to doing something and then causing injury to the neck or anywhere else in the body and uh, unnecessarily preventing you from continued practice. So take it easy. Be as diligent as you can without aggression. Take a deep breath. Feet close together, hands on your waist. Bend your right knee and bring the right knee up. Three, two, one. Right foot down. Left knee up. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Left foot down. Take a deep breath, exhale. Uh, before we can approach uh, Sarvangasana, our core muscles have to be activated and strong. And some of these postures are toward that. Bend your right knee and bring the right knee up. 
straighten the right knee, the right toes pointing to the front. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend and place the right foot down. <clears throat> Feel the posture on your thigh muscles and your abdomen muscles to keeping the leg up. Bend the left knee, bring the left knee up. Straighten the left knee, left toes pointing to the front. Bring the entire leg up just a bit more, five. Straighten the knee, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee and place the left foot down. Take a deep breath, exhale. <clears throat> Feet hip width apart. Arms up. Interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling, come full on to the toes. Exhaling, heels down. Four more rounds. Four more rounds. Inhaling, push up. Exhaling, heels down. Um, Santo, come up onto the toes. Yeah, inhaling, exhaling, heels down. Yes. Total five rounds. After completing five rounds, release your arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Lie down on your back. Um, we are going to first practice Sedubandha Sarvangasana. Bend your knees. Knees hip width apart, your feet hip width apart. Your shoulders away from your ears. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Inhaling, hips up. Um, Santo, feet down, hips up. Say the Bandha Sarvangasana. Yes. Bridge posture. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release the hips down. Release the legs. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Now we are going to go a bit deeper. Bend your knees. Hip width apart. Feet hip width apart. Knees hip width apart. Shoulders away from your ears. Perhaps your fingertips are touching your heels. It's okay if they're not able to reach, but moving your shoulders away from your ears. Inhaling, hips up. Next inhalation, tighten your glutes, hips further up. Slide your palms underneath. Those who are able to interlace the fingers, press the palms together and extend the elbows on the ground. Your arms are on the ground, extended elbows, pressing the palms together. Shoulder blades slightly coming toward each other, bringing the chest up toward your chin. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release the arms, release the hips, release the legs.
ठीक है डीप ब्रटेक से इन सेदवन एंड सर्वांगासना ब्रिज पास चल मच ऑफ योर वेट इज ऑन योर शोल्डर्स um if you feel like your back of your neck is getting stretched too much take your chin up a bit if you are feeling too much strain on the back of your neck relax the neck by taking the chin up a bit now we are going to practice a variation of sedubandha sarvangasana only if you are you feel like you are ready for it in the leg raise from sedu bandha sarvangasana bend your knees hip width apart inhaling hips up next inhalation tighten your glutes hips further up slide your arms and bring your shoulder blades slightly toward each other so you can bring more weight on the top of your shoulders as you press the palms straighten your elbows and shifting your weight on to your right foot lift the left leg up only if you are feeling comfortable 3 2 1 left foot down shifting your weight on to your left foot right leg up 3 2 1 1 and exhaling release arms release the hips release the legs if ever you feel the back of your neck is getting strained you can slightly look up so that the natural curve of the back of your neck the back of your neck the the section of the spine the cervical spine curves toward the front now in setu bandha sarvangasana or sarvangasana they tend to straighten up the cervical spine and if you are not quite ready for that by simply taking or looking up a bit you would maintain the normal curvature of the neck remember no aggression as best as you could as of now hug your knees rock back and forth side to side settle come to settling in the center now hug the back of your thighs hugging the back of your thighs instead of the knees hug underneath your legs underneath your uh, lower legs hugging the back of your thighs if if my instructions not clear look at sanjay is um, sanjay kumar on on the video is grabbing or hugging the back of his thighs now rock back and forth as you go back see if you can take your toes toward the the wall closer to the head rock back and forth take your toes toward the wall behind your head no aggression 
straight. As you go back, straighten the leg and take the toes toward the back wall. Five more times. After that, settle back down, release the legs. Come up to sitting. Let's practice Navasana, boat posture. Boat posture, it is to activate again the core muscles of the, the abdomen muscles, the thigh muscles, muscles around the hip. All of this in preparation for the mother of all asanas, or at least approaching that. Stretch your legs forward, Dandasana. Your legs are together, toes are pointing up. Sitting straight, as straight as you can. Bring the fingertips by the sides of your seat bones, elbows pointing back. Fingertips on the mat by the side of your seat bones, not behind you, by the side. Yes, just fingertips. Not much. Yes, yes. Look at Vinay. Um, he's placing the fingertips just next to his seat bones on the mat. On the mat. Sanjay. Place your fingertips on the mat. Yes, that's it. Now lean back. The reason why I'm asking you to put the fingertips is I don't want you to take support of the palms. Lean back, engage your abdomen. Five, four, keep the back straight as much as you can. Three, two, one. Inhaling, come up, relax. When you lean back, you want to keep the back, the spine as straight as you can. Broad shoulders, no mm, slouching. The shoulders are not going forward as you go back. Keep the broad and lean back, even if it is 10 degrees, lean back with broad shoulders and immediately you will be able to see your abdomen muscles at work. Dandasana, legs together, sitting straight, fingertips by the sides of your seat bones, elbows pointing toward the back wall. Now keeping the back as straight as you can, lean back, engage your abdomen, looking forward and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling straight now. Take a deep breath. Now let's bring the legs in action. Dandasana. Fingertips by the sides. Lean back. Keep the back straight. Broad shoulders. Right leg up. If you're not having, if you're not able to take the right leg up, bend the right knee and bring the right leg up. And release. Release the posture. Dandasana, lean back, left leg up, and release the left leg, release the posture. Now, we are going to lean back and bring both legs up. If you are having trouble raising both legs up with knees straightened, you can slightly bend the knees and raise the legs as much as you can, bringing, trying to bring your big toes at the eye level. Dandasana. You remember, you can bend the knees, not a problem, but lifting the legs 
Keeping the back straight and lifting the legs up. Lean back. Now bring the legs up, big toes to the eye level. You can bend the knees, not a problem. Now bring the arms up to the sides, pointing forward. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Release the posture. Take a deep breath, exhale. Let's uh, repeat Navasana one more time. Come to Dandasana. Remember, if you're feeling the posture in your abdomen and your thighs, you are in the right direction. If you're feeling the posture on your lower back, upper back, that means you are. Um, you need to do micro adjustments to bring more attention to your abdomen and thighs. Dandasana, lean back. Lean back first to engage your abdomen. Now lifting the legs up, bring the big toes to eye level, then arms stretch to the front, shoulder width apart. Your arms are shoulder width apart, broad shoulders. Five, four, three. Two, one, and release the posture. Relax. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now, lie down on you. Go find a wall that can support the posture, we are going to do supported Sarvangasana posture. You are lying down closer to the wall. Your toes are closer to the wall. Lie down. Your legs and toes are going closer to the wall. Um, uh, Santo, you need you need to yeah bring the head toward the camera and face if you're going to use that wall. Yes, good. Now bend your knees and scoot closer to the wall. Bend, bend with bent knees, go closer to the wall. As close to the wall as you can. Take a deep breath, exhale. Remember, if there is any neck strain, look up, or you can reduce the intensity of leg raise. Now, place your feet on the wall. Place your feet on the wall. Start with your feet um, and the thighs making 90 degrees, as in lower leg and up your thighs making 90 degrees. Place the feet flat on the wall. No, no, 90 degrees as in your feet are flat on the wall. Feet are like, look at Vinay, right? Look at Vinay. His lower leg and upper leg is making 90 degrees. Good, very good. Feet close together, you can. And your shoulders are away from your ears. Your arms are close to the body. Now lift your hips up. Bringing weight on your top of the shoulders. Hips up as much as you can. Bring your hips as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the hips down. Keep the feet exactly as they are. Take a deep breath, exhale. 
Now, if you're comfortable, I'm going to give one more instruction to straighten one of the legs off the wall and point it straight up. Now, if you're ready for it, safely do that today. Otherwise, simply repeat what we practiced earlier. Inhaling, hips up as much as you can. Now you will feel a lot of weight on the top of your shoulders. Remember, if your neck is bothering you, slightly look up. And those who are comfortable, lift one leg straight up. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Take the right foot to the wall. Inhaling, left leg up, straight up. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot on the wall and slowly release the hips down. And or slide to the mat and simply lie down flat on the mat on your back. It's remember there is no perfection, your diligence and attention and the spirit of the posture. If you get the spirit of the posture. The spirit of the posture is to balance the whole body, which is tuned for the gravity to act in a certain way throughout our life. And to bring balance to invert. And understand the spirit, understand your edge. And reaching up to the edge with awareness is perfection. Now let's practice a counter posture, Matsyasana. Legs together. Now keep your arms close to the body. Lift your head up chest up and climb on to your elbows. Climb on to the elbows. Lift your head and chest up, look at Vinay. And then slowly drop your head and the roof of your head on the mat if it can reach. And then five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the head off the mat, chin to the chest. Release the head. Five. Five deep breaths. Proceed. To Shavasana, make any final movements if feel necessary. Surrendering your body the gravity and your mind also right, is right here observing your abdomen rising and falling with each breath. Relax. Surrender.
surrender. We'll stay with the surrendered body. An open attitude. Gently come out of Shavasana and come to your favorite meditative posture, eyes closed. Spine comfortably erect, eyes closed. No slouching the shoulders. Head on top of the spine. Open shoulders. Not restricting the chest from expanding. Bring your awareness your breath between the seat bones. Between the seat bones, you would find the pelvic floor, as we call it. As you inhale, there is a downward pressure. Toward the mat. And as you exhale, a relaxation. The pelvic floor relaxes up. You don't have to pull it up. That is Mula Bandha. We are simply practicing awareness. Simply observe the pelvic floor going down toward the mat as you inhale and as you exhale, it relaxes out. Remember, you're not doing anything. You're simply observing what is already happening. Take a deep breath, exhale. Take your hands to the back, catch the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, bending forward, thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, come up. Rub your palms, vigorously generating heat. Massage your closed eyes with the heated palms. 
gently blink your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Have a good evening and a good day ahead. And a good weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you.